Specific details. The second key to writing a good description is to use specific details. When you describe something, you paint a picture with words. Your goal is to make your reader see what you have described. The way to do this is to use a lot of specific details. Specific means exact or precise. The opposite of specific is too general or vague. The more specific you can be, the better your reader can see what you are describing. Some examples of specific details. Let's look at vague. A lot of money. To be specific, that would be something like $500,000. Or a large house. To be specific, you could say a six-bedroom, four-bathroom house. Or you could say a nice car. To be specific, a Lexus. Or jogs a lot. To be specific, jogs three miles in the park every day. And a pretty face. To be specific, you could say warm brown eyes, shining black hair, and sparkling white teeth. You plan a space order paragraph the same way you plan a time order paragraph. First, decide which space order to use, right to left, left to right, front to back, and so on. Then, list your details in that order. Finally, make an outline by adding a topic sentence, capital letters to each detail, and a concluding sentence. Here is a partly completed outline of the model paragraph on the shared refrigerator. Complete the outline by filling in the missing main details on your own piece of paper. Use the top to bottom organization of the paragraph to help you select them. I'll read the instructions for you. The shared refrigerator. My roommate's half of our refrigerator is very neat. On the top of the shelf is a carton of milk a pitcher of orange juice, and a bottle of mineral water. On the next shelf, please fill in the blanks. My roommate is an organized person, and his half of our refrigerator really reflects his personality.